Little bud. The Bic Pen, it's the best selling pen ever in history. We all know it, it's been around since 1950. About 60 are made per second. And that adds up to about 5 million of these suckers per day. And in 2006, they crossed over 100 billion of these things made. You can find this in the Museum of Modern Art. Comes in six different points, 18 colors, and it's also the most copied pen ever. Just like this one. This isn't even the real Bic. This is the dollar store ripoff. And how you can tell, there's no hole in here to equalize the pressure inside the pen versus outside the pen. It's not too exciting, but it's actually quite interesting. The little ball at the end, the little point, is now made from tungsten carbide and is ground to an accuracy of 0.1 microns. They're reliable, they're dependable, they're affordable, and you can find them pretty much anywhere. But why don't I like using them? Simply because I get to use these pens every day. So is there any way that you can take the best-selling pen ever and do something to it to make you want to use it more. You could make it look like this. This is the Aria from Enso Pens. Now you might recognize the name. I've reviewed some of their other pens. They're fountain pens, which I adore, but they were kind enough to send this to me with my order as well to showcase and try out and uh, do a little video on it as well. So here we go. This is the Aria, very different concept. You know, I'm not much, again, of a ballpoint user. I, if I have to use this pen, I'm probably going to wash my hands after. But this, I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> so it's very interesting. The, uh, the dimensions, actually, like the length is identical to a standard Bic. And what the deal with this is, you just undo the top here unscrews very nicely and you have this gorgeous aluminum anodized body and inside what it takes is a standard Bic crystal pen insert. So it just grab it, pull it out and this is the guts. This is the deal. This is the thing that works so well on the Bic pens, why it's so reliable. You know, the same guts, same everything and they just gave it a nice new sexy body. So you look at it and go, that's not so terrible anymore. That looks boring and you know it works there's nothing wrong with it but if you want to upgrade your bix i think this is a pretty good way to do it it pops off it's got these really nice threads it's even got some fidget spinniness to it like just you can open it like this way and just boom it closes as well so really nice threads on here nice and smooth very satisfying to cap it and uncap it comes off it also spins onto the back here as well so it goes down secures and you can just give that a spin like that, quite nice, really good threads, goes in there nice and deep, very secure, you're not gonna lose the cap, and now you're ready to go, it's in your hand, and again, you can use it, you know, posted or unposted like a regular Bic pen, and uh, you know, the Bic pen, it's it's a decent length, here's rolling away here, um, you know, you can do it with the cap on or cap off, either way, you're good to go, same with this one, so yeah, it fits just as well, it's a nice smooth design, uh, I don't have any problems with this getting, you know, too slick in my hands. It seems to hold in there pretty good. But if you got maybe really greasy hands or something, I could see that being a challenge. But other than that, there's not too much to show you other than look at this, what they did here on the end. Yep, that is a hole. So if you take the insert out here, you take the big crystal pen out, you can see a little light coming through the tunnel. So they made sure to do what the proper Bic pens do, not like this cheap knockoff. They have the hold in there to equalize the pressure as well. And uh, away we go. So it just goes on there, feels comfortable, gives you a nice little more of a heavier heft to your Bic pen. Definitely a serious upgrade. If you're going to use a Bic, why not do it in style? So I think what we'll do now is just do a quick uh writing sample i'm curious to see what my writing looks like with a ballpoint and i thought let's test it to see if there's a difference does this maybe improve your handwriting i i don't know we're gonna find out so got to do some type of writing sample so let's get it started no rhodia paper needed today we don't need high grade for ballpoints this is just the uh, dollarama special for two and a half bucks so i'm going to do a writing sample for each pen i'm going to keep it the same Today, it's a lyric from a CCR song because I heard the radio and that's still stuck in my head. So now it will be stuck in yours. All right. 
right, not so bad. Now we have the Enso, and this is the Aria. So let's give that a try. So did it make my writing look nicer? I think it looks about the same really to, between the two of them. Uh, ballpoint is a ballpoint, but it is nice to use that instead. You got a little bit nicer look to it. The feel is about the same, but obviously a little more solid in your hand. But I thought let's wrap it up and do a bit of an unfair comparison with one of my favorite pens to write with and why I choose fountain pens. So here we have a Mont Blanc. number 149 and this has my own personal fine uh, cursive italic nib on it that's something you can only do with a fountain pen but if you're going to use a Bic a ballpoint, something like that, and you want uh, a bit of an alternative, that Enso works pretty well. So what do I like? What don't I like about the pen? Uh, I like how it's the same dimension. So if you're used to that, the standard Bic size, you know, overall length, that's the same. I do like it's got a little more weight to it. These are quite light. And also with the weight, it feels a little more comfortable in the hand. Um, the section here is, it's thicker. The pen body's thicker. So these are quite tough for me to grip because it's so narrow. Like if you do a pinch grip, like everything's touching versus here, it is more comfortable. I don't get that sort of pain on the finger if you're writing with these a lot because I forgot, I haven't used a ballpoint in so long. You, you have to push down on these. That's what's so nice about fountain pens. So I think that'll maybe relieve the uh, hand cramp a little bit on this instead. Um, threads are really nice. I mean, yes, the standard Bic is just a pop cap so that it's quicker. But these are such smooth and, and nice threads, you know, you can just spin that cap on. So that is quite satisfying. Just doing that with the cap all the time and spinning it on. Spinning onto the back here is quite nice too. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about losing it. It's quite secure. Everything is, is pretty well made. Um, like I said, the weight feels nice. Uh, I could see this maybe being a little bit slick potentially, but uh, I mean, this isn't overly grippy either. It is hex, so maybe that helps a bit, but it is a very smooth and slick material. If you uh, are a student having some chips in between classes, these aren't easy to grip afterwards. I think this would actually still be better. So uh, the price point on this, if you go to their website, go to Enso, and uh, that's about 39 US. So I think that's reasonable. It's not, you know, nothing, but I think that's a reasonable price for a full uh, aluminum uh, pen body here and you can have it anodized as well and it's it's well made so yeah I like it I think it's a neat thing I don't know I would be using this a ton compared to my fountain pens of course but if I gotta go for a ballpoint I'm gonna be going for this one now instead of this and if it runs out I'll you know I'll put a new refill in there so uh, I would prefer this any day over a standard Bic or these types of pens anyway so Cool little thing they did there. They took something that's been around for a long time, the best selling pen in the world. You can see their nice little logo on there. It looks real classy how they did it. And they said, uh, what can we do for the best selling pen in the world that sold the most? Let's make it look fancy. Let's give it some curb appeal. And uh, kind of a smart idea. You know, just pop those out, chuck it, put it back in. You get a new refill and you're ready to go. So super convenient, nice little package. I think it looks slick. It does roll, so that's the one thing with the um, the standard Bix. You know, you got the cap there the, that will help stop it, but also just that it's a hex pen on its own. So that, I, I guess that would be probably the only negative on it is you might have to just watch out for that a little bit, uh, rolling away with you off a desk. But even if this thing falls, it's, it's aluminum, so it's not going to shatter. But there you go. So thank you to Enso for sharing this pen with us. Uh, does it belong in the box now with all these ones? <laughs> Probably not. I'll take it out after the video. But anyways, uh, I like it. Cool little concept. Uh, check out their website for some more details. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments on this one for sure. And also some likes and subscribes helps out the channel. And until then, we will catch you next time.